What's up everybody? This is Hedgepath here, bringing you another Castle Clash video. Got a new base design here. This is a little a bigger version of a death box, I would say. But um, I have the little outside walls here, making a little T form, and um, have a lot more buildings inside. I'm uh, able to do H pretty much every time, no garrisons. So I got a couple garrisons in here just because I'm trying to level them up, but that's no big deal. But anyways, guys, um, this this video is gonna be about uh, my pumpkin duke reaching a seven of nine celebrate, and I'm gonna be showing you what he does in a boss three battle. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my heroes lined up and ready for that. Get my and more tap here. I'm gonna take out my thunder god. Oh no, I need my keep it. Where's my thunder god? There he is. And I'm gonna bring out my dryad. Level 100 dry here with a 2 of 5 heavy blow. And um, go ahead, go ahead and start this video, guys. Start this boss fight. So let's see what we can do here. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do boss 3. Let's get started. All right. Let's go ahead and drop this druid out inside. And first of all, I need to get this heavy blow. Did I not get my champion? Oh, I didn't get my champion. I'm going to take that. Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. Let's see, where's my champion? Oh, wait, he's in the tower. Dang, I just lost a lot of time on that. All right. I got a level 100 champion with a 5 of 5 revitalize on him. So, all right, let's see what we can do here. All right, drop all my heroes down. Let's see if I can get that heavy blow. Don't get the heavy blow, but once I get the heavy blow on my Mortep or Dryad, then I'll be set to go for probably a full three mana battle but until you get the heavy blow you just keep doing this guys over and over and over again until that heavy blow strikes and nope not yet trying to get it and guys i just did i did just there's the heavy blow okay now mortep's special and hopefully you can hold him here depends if dryad heavy blowed or mortep did and it looks like dryad did so i'm gonna have to pull back on that if I can get a more tap to the heavy blow proc here, come on. Come on. Anyways, guys, I just got my uh, my pumpkin duke to a 7 and 9 celebrate, which was a huge deal. So once I get this heavy blow, which I hopefully I did, maybe. I, I can't can't tell if I did. I was dry or any more tap. It looks like that was dry. All right. Pumpkin duke. Or not pumpkin duke. Uh... Drew just died there. Come on, Immortep. Oh, wow. Messed up on that one. Let's see that heavy blue. Alright. Nope. Messed up again. This is definitely a, a bad boss fight right now. I cannot get the heavy blow to hit on Immortep. Oh, there was somebody's. That was a pretty good heavy blow right when he was walking, too. All right, this might work. All right, with my new pumpkin deck, 7 to 9 celebrate. Increases everybody's attack speed by 40%. That is going to be a huge, huge deal. I mean, look how fast my druid is attacking. Look how fast. Look at the arrows for my keep it. If you can see right in there, you see that hammer from a champion. Look how many attacks that is. I mean, that's like three a second, it looks like. I don't even know, but if y'all didn't know, the max damage y'all can do in one hit on a boss is 35,000. You'll see that 35,000 come up right there, you see. At a time, you can't do any more than that, but you see a bunch of 35,000s being hit at one time. And just this boss is getting taken out. Seven of nine pumpkin duke guys on boss three. This is it right here. I got a five of five revitalize on my champion. I have a four of five heavy blow on my mortep. A two of five heavy blow on my dryad. Four or five berserk on my druid. And a four or five berserk on my pumpkin duke. <clears throat> so guys, if in case y'all did not know, berserk four or five or five of five is better than revitalize. You get more attacks off 
yes, you get that first revitalize um, proc off, but um, right off the start, but Berserk, throughout the boss fight, you'll get more and more and more procs, and that's exactly what you need from from uh, Pumpkin Duke. My next, my next uh, goal I'm gonna get is my my keep it up. I'm gonna get his ability up one more level to increase their, their energy percentage on their buffs. But yeah, guys, this is this is seven nine pumpkin duke. I, I'll be I can't imagine what a nine nine pumpkin duke would do, but um, and there's a, I also just read on the forums there. There's gonna be a you know the new update. I had it. I had a video about it. You know the uh, hero trials and the guild wars and stuff. And they're also adding a quest, um, a quest board where you can go actually go on in Castle Clash and right beside where you do every monster, there's gonna be a little board sticking up. You click on it, and you can do quest. In the quest, you'll be able to um, you'll be able to get gold, mana, honor badges, shards, and also on the hero trials. You'll be able to get heroes, legendaries, as as well as Pumpkin Duke. That will be a good way to get Pumpkin Duke. 55 million damage on that one, guys. That was a good run. Looks like me and Maxi here are competing right now. If I can just get that 4 or 5. Oh, now he took out my druid. This is going to be a pretty close one between me and Maxi. It just depends on whose heavy blow is going to be hitting. I can just see this this battle just kind of ending any second now because Max is going to end up finishing them off. Which I'm not in a... It's no big deal if he gets first place or anyone else gets first place for that matter. I'm just happy we got, got a good enough team here. Well, I drew it just tanked two hits from that. That was pretty impressive. I'm just trying to get a you know good guild, get high ranked in uh, in guilds. That's all I'm, my goal is right now, guys. I'm not worried about who's getting first, second, or third. I'm just happy that everyone's participating and doing very well in Boss 3. That was our main goal as we first started as a team, and now look at us. We're we're doing Boss 3, so I'm very proud of you guys. Getting tons and tons of honor badges. Yep, there we go, and that's, that's the boss, guys. You got... I, ju I finally got first place. Uh, Maxi got second. DHQ third. Uh, fourth is Batista. Hey, look at everyone getting over a million damage right there. That's awesome, guys. Everyone's participating. Top 10. Because everybody made it top 10. But that was some good, good honor badges. People donating. And here's the guild, guys. Ranked 590 overall. Um, if you are interested in joining a guild, boss time is 5.30 USA Central Standard Time. And that's 7.30 Castle Clash time. You need only at least 30 shards a day and download the line app. But uh, yep, this is our guild, guys. Very proud of you guys. I'll go ahead and donate what I got here. But um, yeah, we're still, still searching for about six more members. So if y'all are wanting to join... Here's our guild, truly gift it, ranked 590, or might rank 135, but that's going to be it for the video, guys, and everyone, thanks for watching. If you could like and subscribe, it's greatly appreciated, but uh, until next time, this is Hedgepath, and I'll see y'all later.